Hi and welcome back to our channel. Some of you, after watching the bread video that I prepared a few months ago, asked me to prepare a video about the German bread rolls. So here it is. In this video, I would like to show you the most popular German bread rolls that I could find for you in Frankfurt. I will start this video with a bit of history, then we will move on to the most popular German bread rolls. And the last one that I'm going to show you is one of my favorite ones. So please keep on watching. If you don't know me yet, my name is Martha from Cooking the World and I am food guide in Frankfurt. And if you do like traditional food, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And by the way, most of the dishes that I show you in those videos, I can cook. So since July, uh, we have decided that we're gonna post additional um, cooking video every Friday. So if you have any wishes, please let us know in the comments down below. So let me just start with the bread roll facts. Archaeologists found petrified bun from 391 before Christ in today's Afghanistan. Bread rolls are baked goods with maximum 250 gram and they have approximately 140 calories. Bread roll was considered luxurious good due to the fact that it was produced to be consumed only by one person. In Germany they have a different names. They can be called Rundstück, Semmeln, Schreppe, Weg and so on. Surely need to be careful about the names because for example in Thuringia and Saxony, Semmel and Brötchen mean two different types of baked good. Brötchen there means a single bun and the Semmel is a double bun. Bread rolls with a soft skin like the milk and raisin bread rolls are more durable. And now let's just move to the bread roll types. I'm gonna start this video with the most popular German bread roll which is the Weizenbrötchen, so the wheat bread roll. Wheat bread roll consists of 90% of wheat flour and the main ingredients is obviously the wheat flour, water, yeast, butter or margarine, salt and malt. I think that any topping goes very well with this kind of a bread roll, so you can eat it with a sweet or savory toppings. The next bread roll I would like to show you is Zwiebelbrötchen, so the onion bread roll and this is made of the mixture of rye and wheat flour. The main ingredients a part of the flour is water, sourdough, yeast, malt, salt and of course fried onions. The fried onions give this bread roll very particular taste and I love it. This bread roll is meant to be eaten with a savory toppings and I think that cheese goes perfectly with it. The next bread roll that I would like to show you is Vollkornbrötchen, so whole wheat flour. And this one, as the name suggests, consists of 90% of whole wheat flour, rye or white. Apart from flour, it consists of uh, water, yeast, salt, margarine or butter and malt. This bread roll goes very well with both sweet or savory toppings. The next one was also one of my favorite ones. It's called Kürbiskernbrötchen, the bread roll with the pumpkin seeds. This particular one is made of uh, wheat and rye flour, water, sourdough, yeast, malt, salt and pumpkin seeds. You can find those pumpkin seeds usually outside and those are very crispy but also inside. I love having this one with a butter and honey for breakfast. The next bread roll that I would like to show you is called the Dinkelbrötchen and as the name suggests, uh, this is the bread roll that is made of spelt flour and the other ingredients are yeast, oil, salt and water. And next we're gonna talk about Meerkornbrötchen and this one is made from both whole wheat and wheat flour water, yeast, salt and margarine. Outside and inside it's got a mix of different seeds. Usually those are wheat flakes, sunflower seeds, sesame, millet and corn flakes. And this one goes also very well with sweet or savory toppings. And the next one is the Laugenbrötchen, so lye bread roll. This particular one is made of wheat flour, water, rapeseed oil, yeast, salt and malt and it's covered with a pretzel salt and this bread roll is made by immersing this roll in a light solution before baking. 
This bread roll is very popular in the south of Germany, so Swabia and Bavaria, as well as Austria and Switzerland. It is extremely soft from inside and it's got outside this pretzel-like skin. I think you can get it all over Germany because it's got very popular. The next bread roll that I would like to show you is the Roggenbrötchen, so the rye bread roll. And as you can see, this one has a lighter color than the rye bread and this is and this is because the rye bread roll must have at least 50% of rye flour and the bread actually needs to have 90% of the rye flour which I have mentioned in my bread video and therefore the rye bread is darker than the rye bread roll and apart from rye flour this bread roll has also water, sourdough, yeast, malt and salt and before I show you my favorite bread roll of all I want to talk about milk Brötchen. So the milk bun ingredients of this bread roll are wheat flour, milk or milk powder, butter, yeast, salt and sugar. Because it is on the sweet note, it usually goes very well with butter or with a sweet toppings. And the last bread roll that I would like to show you is for sure my favorite one and it's called Kartoffelbrötchen, so potato bread roll. There is not one way to make potato bread roll here in Germany. Therefore, it can be made from different kind of flours. Usually it's rye and wheat, but sometimes also spelt. What is very exceptional about this bread roll that uh, sometimes the bakers add potatoes or potato starch to it. What makes the bread roll extra soft from inside and extra crispy from outside. And trust me, this bread roll goes perfectly with anything. So now you know exactly what German bread rolls are popular here in Germany. Obviously I wasn't able to film all of them, but at least now you've got an idea what is available here. For more content about traditional food, please visit our cooking blog, Cooking the World, or our travel blog, Local Food Advice. And please let me know in the comments down below if you prefer eating bread or the bread roll, or maybe none of those. I'm curious what you're gonna say. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next week. Stay safe and bye!